Welcome to the quick starter guide for sign here. First of all, let me uh, thank you for downloading the application. I hope you find it useful. Um, when you launch the application for the first time, you are directed to create your event by pressing the add a new event. You can go in and type and type your event name. I'm going to say this is going to be my training. I'm going to be training some people today and I require their signature for um, capture capturing their attendance. So today is December 13, lucky day, Friday the 13. And um, you can put additional description here. Uh, you can add a, your own event ID uh, so you can track it with other um, applications that you may want or course code. And you can enter your uh, trainer ID um, if you have one. I'm going to say uh, trainer add sign here app dot com and then I'll save it and immediately it goes back to the uh, main page where you can see the event my training and then pretty much you can start handing out your device to the students or uh, participants of that training and when the participant um, goes in they can sign in by pressing the add button they can write their their name and um, last name um, you can enter phone number as a so you can track them or give them credit, 467, um, email ID, all these are optional, or uh, other ID, could be employee ID or device ID if you have a need later on to map to a real um, uh, like HR system ID or, or LMS ID, you can enter it here. And then um, I'll go ahead and sign, press sign here, and sign my name. And save it. I verify that the information is correct. I like my signature. That's fine. I'll save it. Then you can pass the phone to the phone or tablet for, to the next person uh, to sign. So I'm just going to emulate. I'm going to have another student. I'm going to uh, sign for Mary. Go ahead and do Mary and Smith and um, phone number two one two three four five 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 save and then um, let's say the person clicks save oops I forgot to sign it shows the status new or or sign so you can check if the person actually has signed even before you print a report so I can select my name again because I forgot to sign I press sign here and um, and oh, I don't like what I see so I can just simply use these controls here to undo I can go all the way back and and sign Mary's oh I can undo easily and Smith. I like that. I can save it. And then after that, I'm done. Let's say I only have two students in this training session, so all I need to do now is, uh, you know, conduct the training. When I get home or, or whenever I want to, I can, as a trainer, go in here and print this cloud for cloud printing. And it sends you to the cloud services. Here we're using the Google Cloud Services. I already have provided my credentials to my Google account. So 
here I can either save it on on online or I can just do a quick preview before I save it and if you have a, a PDF viewer program I'll use quick PDF here um, you can have and see and check your roster or your attendance list and as you can see uh, I have two people I could you know zoom in here and um, you can see their signatures and you can come back and now let's say I want to just save it to the cloud and I can click save and print it and that goes to my um, uh, Google Cloud um, Drive and the PDF report will be also saved there uh, if you don't have access to the internet at the moment you can just you know do it when you get access when you get back to the office and that's the um, end of this demo I hope you enjoy the application and have a great day